There is a lot of work to do to clean up the damage done early this morning. Witnesses say a collision on Clinton Street in Buffalo sounded like an explosion. Senior reporter Eileen Buckley has spent most of the day on the scene. She's looking into how this crash happened and how neighbors are dealing with the aftermath. I was taking a shower on and all of a sudden someone said boom. I fell out the tub catching the the shower curtain. John Richardson says his entire house on Clinton Street shook after a modern disposal truck powered by natural gas hit the railroad underpass just before 6.30 Wednesday morning. There's five natural gas uh, cylinders mounted on the top of the truck and two of those uh, cylinders were uh, severely damaged. Uh, when they hit the underside of the uh, overpass. Buffalo Fire Commissioner William Ronaldo says the damaged cylinders propelled through the air and exploded, leaving a hole in the second floor of this home. One of the cylinders uh, traveled about roughly 100 yards and struck a light standard, and the other cylinder traveled uh, closer to 200 yards, uh, ricocheted off of one home, and then wound up in the uh, second floor bedroom of, of another home. The woman who lives in that home didn't want to talk, but Richardson, who lives just three houses away from the damage, says the blast caused his wife to fall out of bed. It shook you right physically yep. in your own home. Caused all the pictures off the walls in my house. My garage all messed up with all the stuff fall off the wall. Dwight Edwards lives a block away and says he heard a big bang that shook his entire house as well. Now, honestly, I thought we was going to war or something. I was waiting for a shockwave or something. The fire commissioner says the driver of the modern truck and his assistant walked away with minor injuries and no one in the homes was hurt. I asked the commissioner if he was aware of this type of danger from a natural gas vehicle. I'm a little concerned myself because, you know, I'm a you know, worst case scenario person. So I'm thinking if I'm designing this vehicle, you know, I would think twice about mounting them on top where they could possibly be damaged or have some other type of protection possibly. Modern Disposal says the crash is under investigation. Eileen Buckley, 7 News, Buffalo.